I'm hanging out at my rental property this weekend, cleaning up after some tenants that we finally got rid of, who turned the entire house into a dog toilet. And I had to tear out all of the carpet. And of course, when you tear out carpet, you got the pad and the tack, the uh, staples that are used to hold the pad in place and the tack strips from around the perimeters. I'm gonna leave the tack strip because I will probably just get par carpet put back in again rather than refinish the floor. But there's a lot of work in taking out all of those staples. I never had to do that with hardwood before, so it was kind of new. But as you can see they are everywhere. The, the guy who installed these must have had a couple extra Red Bulls that day. Um, here's what it looks like when the room is finished. This is probably a couple hours worth of work. There were, I think, more in this room than the other. Uh, between pulling the staples and vacuuming everything up afterwards. So I got a couple tools after looking up some different methods for doing this online. What I realized that uh, if I didn't do this myself, the, uh, the next carpet installers were probably either going to go around with a hammer and just whack the staples down and then staple the new pad on top of that, or go along with a floor scraper and, uh, and just try to scrape everything up by hitting them with the floor scraper. And I didn't want either of those things to be done because it, it just it's more likely to break off the staples and um, if somebody ever does want to refinish this floor they should be able to do so without having broken off staple heads or um, entire staples all over the place so I decided to go with these two guys I ordered them online I looked around at uh, a few different styles and I will put a link to both of these in the description because uh, I don't remember the names right now. This one I thought was a Bostitch, but then it has a, a different name on there. And this one doesn't have the name written on it as far as I can tell. But like I said, I'll put it both in the description. I got both of them because I wasn't sure which one would work better because they both had different designs. This one sure looks nice and this one was... Uh, a little bit cheaper, both about ten dollars, so not a not a big deal for the time they save. But the way this works is you find a piece of pad of the staple and slide that tongue on the bottom underneath, and then whack it and hope that it doesn't just fold like that, which tends to happen more often than not with this guy. So then I got to come in here with the gas pliers, and that one got a little bit broken off, so I might have to. Tap that one below the surface, and then I get the piece of pad stuck in the bottom. So, short version is that this is not my favorite. I like this one better, but let's try one more, see if we can get a whole staple out. Uh, oh, that one rolled off too. And carefully, if I can roll this, there we go. That one came out completely. Uh, the reason I like this guy better is because as you push down, you get the hang on, As you push down to pull out the staple, you get that clamping action going on there. Um, also looks like a funny little guy. Yum, 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 yum. So that goes in there like that. And then as I push down, it'll clamp onto the staple. Makes it more likely to pull the whole thing out at once. Still gotta get the, the uh, pad out of there, but it's pretty easy to do. And this is a lot better than trying to get all of these with pliers, I think. Uh, just push it in until it stops. Clamp it, pull it, and that will either get this ready for the next carpet installation or maybe for the next refinishing. Oh, it's about 10 down and we've got another 10,000 to go.